Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to do your reading for the end of March. We're going to get you one of these oracle cards. This is intended to be a love reading, but you know, they don't always turn out to be that way, do they? So we will see what comes up. We're going to get you one of these and then we're going to break into that tarot deck. Did you see it? I'm sure that you guys can back it up, but I'm not going to read it. You know, this is kind of a spoiler because it turned over. I'm not sure if you saw it or not. Hmm. We're going to keep it because it flew out like that. Now we're going to break into this tarot deck. Leo, Leo, what do we have for Leo at the end of this month of March? Jeez, some crow, they're flipping out like crazy. The moon reversed. Oh. Confusion, fear, reality check is needed. And that's what it means. I have this fear, I'm confused about my reality. In denial. Dishonesty. Unable to make a decision because of fear and confusion. Somebody is not being honest with themselves. You can't make those cards be something else. This is a new opportunity for growth. A new opportunity for growth being given to you from above. Because wherever you're at, there's no reason to celebrate. You could be involved in a third party situation. But somebody doesn't want to see the reality or they don't want to accept the reality or something. This right here is where do you focus your energy? Do you focus it on the future? Do you focus it on the past? This is the, you're at a crossroads. It's up to you. The decision is up to you. This is about making a decision. You have to make a decision. Do you want to accept the reality or do you want to deny the reality? I'm like, okay, all right, you know, this is what this is. Do you want to stay stuck someplace or do you want to move forward? There's two paths. Okay, you're on the road, you're walking down the road, and at the end of the road, oh shit, there's a big old boulder. You, you have to go in a different direction. Choose wisely. Where are you focusing your energy? That is the question of this card. Some, there's, there's no energy somewhere, right? There's a lack of somebody does not doesn't have any energy to put in work into something. Somebody doesn't want to work on something or it isn't working out. Somebody's not working hard enough. Stalling, procrastinating. It's time to accept the truth, okay? Whatever it is that somebody is in denial about, it's time to accept the truth. 
and go down the new path and accept reality. You are being offered an opportunity for growth. But you're, it's like you're not putting any work into growth. Or you're not putting in any work to making the decision that you need to make. Hmm. There's no forward movement here. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening here. It's like there's a lack of communication. You know, eights are the time as, as the time is now, right now. These eights are, are reversed. You know, right next to that justice reversed, somebody is in complete denial here. Complete denial. Does not want to move forward because of fear and confusion. Doesn't want to make the decision that they need to make. They know what decision they need to make is. I can see that they do. But they don't want to put any energy into it. Procrastinating all the way, all the way. Stalling this decision, even though there's a lot of unhappiness here. Nothing to celebrate. And I'm just telling you what these cards see, say. You are being offered a new opportunity to go through a new door. You are. The rest of them are saying that you're not taking action. Two cards tell me that you have a new opportunity. All the rest of them tell me that somebody is in denial. And not willing to put work into growth. Denial. Denial. Ace of Swords, upright, is you are being offered, you have the truth, you're hearing the truth, you're thinking clearly. Ace of Swords, reverse, somebody is refusing to accept the truth, see the truth, hear the truth, speak the truth. The truth is not being accepted or spoken. There's also a lack of communication here. Somebody's playing the silent treatment game, right? I mean, somebody is. I'm not going to talk to you. We're just not going to communicate. That gets you fired, don't it? Empty. Empty inside. It's like there's a missed opportunity in love, real love, okay? Because somebody is refusing to let something end. This is the end of an idea, the death of an idea. This is a missed opportunity in love, missed opportunity, period, because of this, this truth that somebody is refusing to see. You are being offered a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity uh, in front of you. This is the death of an idea. It's also withdrawal and feeling dead inside, feeling empty inside. There is definitely withdrawal here. Okay, somebody it absolutely is in complete denial, not communicating, not wanting to talk about things, not wanting to accept the truth, letting fear and confusion, fear and confusion consume them, procrastinating, all the while, they're being offered a new opportunity from above to allow growth to come into their life. Everything happens for a reason. Everything brings you growth. Something, everything teaches you something. You, it's time to follow your intuition. Trust your intuition. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's time to be practical. 
Seriously. There's a lot of insecurities here, right? Is that what's holding you back? Insecurity? You don't want to be left out in the cold? You have a lot of doubt and fear in your head, right? But look how far you've come. You've come, come so, so far. All this stuff that's been happening has built your strength and you probably don't even know it. I think it's time to move on. This is nine to closure. It's time for closure. It's a sign to move on. It's time to step outside of your comfort zone and use your strength to accept reality of whatever this situation is for you. It's time to be practical. This is move on. It's time to move on. And speak your truth. Just say it. Say it. Whatever's going on that you have been holding in, say it. Follow your dreams. There's some sort of deception here. And I don't know if it's you deceiving yourself or, or somebody's deceiving you. But there is some sort of lies, betrayal, deceit. And you are being called to speak up and move on. This is the moving on card. It's time for a change. It's time to make the decision and stop playing games. Because there's like, there you're being tricked. This is being tricked. You're being tricked. There's some kind of trickery here, whether it's you or somebody else. Somebody is totally tricking you. And you need to make this decision that you've been procrastinating on making because you don't want to accept the truth. This could be self-deception. Could be both. Somebody does not have the faith, enough faith in themselves. This is insecurity. Lack of faith, lack of hope, lack of peace, lack of inspiration, lack of wish fulfillment. Because somebody is afraid to take the next step. A lot of fear here. But denial as well, a lot of denial. Somebody's in complete denial. And this is, justice is also a karma card. So you will continue to learn this karmic lesson until you accept the truth. Ah, <sighs> oh, you know what this means. This is the end of a contract between two people. <sighs> There's too much conflict. And it's time to let go so that you can find true love. And you know, if you want to be in denial, I can't help you. I'm giving you the messages. 
let go. That's what this card is. It's time to let go and stop holding on to a contract that isn't meant to be. You have a new a new opportunity for a new partner. You do. And this is new, by the way. This is a new opportunity for a new partner. But you have to take the next step and be honest with yourself about something. And stop trying to prove yourself. You're trying to prove yourself to somebody. I don't know who. But this is letting go of a contract so that you can find love. It is over. Something needs to end so that you can have a new beginning in love. <laughs> and you guys can try to turn it around as much as you want. That is denial. And when somebody tries to tell you to turn it around, that's manipulation. You ready? Ah, oh, you have to be, listen, listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. Lies beneath the words. Are you listening? Are you listening? Or are you in denial? Are you listening? Are you just listening to the surface, what comes out of people's mouths? but you really know what's going on underneath and you're just in complete denial because you don't want to be alone or what is it? You're in, there's a lot of insecurities here. I don't care what you do. I don't care. It has, means nothing to me. I want everybody to be happy. But I also want them to be honest with themselves more than anything in this whole world. Being honest with yourself is true growth. Talk to you later.